Okay. Hello, uh, hello everyone. I'm Xiao Jian Wu, and today I'm going to briefly review, review, review my work, stochastic network design framework, and the scalable algorithms. So this is joint work with Dan Sheldon and Shlomo Zeberstein. So many natural phen phenomena shows cascading behavior in network. That is, the phen phenomena spread through the networks. So this phenomenon can be modeled as stochastic process. So for example, the animal may expand their population and spread into a landscape over multiple generations. And the fishes, once enter the river, may spread into the river network. So for this phenomenon, we may take some, want to take some management action or interventions to steer them towards our desired outcomes. For example, we may want to maximize, uh, encourage their spreading or control their spreading. So for example, for the fish examples, since the, so actually this is the same problem in, discussed by the previous talk. So these barriers will block the fish movement and uh, block them to access their historical habitats, but we may remove some of the river barriers to encourage their dispersals. So this is one example. For the uh, animal example, we may want to improve the connectivity of the network to in encourage the dispersal of the species. So the question is, among a large number of candidate strategies, uh, what strategy should we take? Which one is good? For example, which barrier should we remove? But when we make the decision, we may consider the limited budget or resources. So that means we want to find a cost-efficient strategies. But unfortunately, existing algorithms do not scale up to network of large sizes. So the goal of this piece of work is to provide a scalable algorithm to solve a range of similar problems. So what I did is we defined a general framework, <coughs> problem framework called the stochastic network design. So it's a basically a constrained sto stochastic optimization problem uh, framework. And uh, then we developed uh, several algorithms to solve this problem under three different settings, which are gradually more general. So the most uh, restri restrictive setting is to assume the underlying network is a tree and the slightly general setting is to assume it is general direct graph, but we only care about the connectivity of the network. So the most general settings, we uh, maximize the connect connectivity of network and also consider to minimize the distance between the connected nodes. So for the three cases, we, the technique we use is standard programming and the rounding strategies. So for the last two settings, we use the sampling techniques and the primal two algorithms. So we, in this work, we apply uh, the algorithm to solve three real-world problems. So, so in the remaining of my talk, I want to <coughs> also discuss the problem described before and uh, show you how we formulate the problem and uh, how we solve it and give some results. So, this is a, uh, so since the previous speaker already talked about this problem, I just give you a very abstract uh, uh, in, uh, discuss about these problems. So the population of the uh, fish declined dramatically due to river barriers and uh, because this barrier blocked them to reach their historical habitats. So every year the fish will start move from, starting enter the river from the entrance and move upstream to reach their habitats. So this river network is a Canadian river network in Massachusetts and the green dots represent uh, the barriers. You see there is a huge number of barriers. <laughs> and, uh, so this is a simple illustration of how the fish move and they gradually move into the rivers. And if there are some barriers that block their movement. So we, in, the, in this work, we consider both the cover and some dance. And uh, we can remove some of the barriers so they can reach their habitats. So the question is, given a limited amount of budget, which barrier should we remove? And uh, we want, the goal is to maximize the area that fish can reach. So, so let's briefly talk about how we uh, tr treat these problems. So first, we want to see how much, how want to model how much habit a uh, random selected fish can access. So we simply use a directly rooted graph, a rooted trace. So the red dots represent the entrance of the river, and uh, each node represents an area of the river, and the number here just represents the habitat that fish can use in that areas. And we like to use the each edge represent uh, barriers, 
and uh, the probability there is a probability on each barriers, which is a probability that fish can pass the barriers. So this probability is estimated by the ecologist. And so once we have this directly rooted tree, so we can calculate the expected amount of habitats that this fish can access, which simply equals to the total uh, amount of habitats, the summation of this number, weighted by the probability that a fish can reach that location. So as I said, we can take some management actions uh, to increase the passage probability. That means we may want to remove the barriers uh, by spending the amount of money. So we can raise the probability to be one, and we can take other minor action, maybe build a tunnels to only help the large fish. So the probability is not one, but a little bit higher. So if we do this, uh, we can increase the expected amount of habitats. So the question is, uh, how, how do we choose the action to take to maximize the amount of habitats? So here uh, we ha just want to show some results. So here we compare with the previous method, which is done by dynamic programming. And our algorithm is called uh, RDP. It's combined dynamic programming and a running strategy, which makes uh, the uh, algorithm much scalable. So this is a running time comparison. You see, as with different budget, our algorithm is much faster. And we see our algorithm can produce, so our algorithm doesn't produce the optimal solution, but it's approximation algorithms. But we observe that it can produce 99% optimal solution. And we can also solve the uh, proof that the algorithm is uh, F FPTAS. So, so here our algorithm is built as a tool called the River Explorer. So this tool want to, uh, is, can be used to help the decision maker to decide how much budget to invest. So the decision maker can adjust this bar to change the budget to invest. So we can quickly visualize uh, the policy suggested by the algorithms and the, how much, uh, how the, uh, which area the fish can reach. So the blue color represents the, the area that fish has a very high probability to reach there. And these colors, the green and these colors represent the medium and lower probabilities. So the good things of this algorithm is, is you can almost can show these results uh, uh, on time. It's like if you change this, it immediately give you this figure. So it's, this algorithm is because the algorithm is very fast. So now I want to briefly just talk about other two applications. Uh, other two applications. So the second application is applied to the conservation planning problems. So this problem is similar, but we have a, we have a drag graph, and in this problem we want to uh, decide which uh, land units to purchase. The goal is to maximize the spread of uh, a type of species uh, in the habitat networks. So the third uh, application is called the uh, pre-disaster proposition problems. So the goal of this problem is to minimize the response time of emergency medical services during the uh, natural disasters. And uh, we want to select, the, select some road, uh, road segment which are uh, and, and to fix and to in, improve the resilience of the network so that the response time is minimized. So actually this network is a, a small area, uh, it's an area in Massachusetts, and these data are, extra, are all extracted from the real, real data. So for, the, for these two problems, uh, our algorithms are, sh are much faster than the existing algorithms and uh, can scale up to a very large networks, which we, we usually have in the real real-world problems, and also it can produce uh, high-quality solutions. So my algorithm, since it's uh, it defined in a general context, it can potentially apply to other problems which are similar, uh, have some similar properties. For example, information um, maximization problems, or like corridor design, or like various control problems. So to summarize my talk, uh, we studied the problem of uh, reshaping the casting behaviors towards some certain goals we like. And uh, the goal of this, uh, this, this work is to provide algorithm to solve, a uh, scalable algorithm to solve not just one problem, but a range of similar problems. So what we do is we define a general framework called the stochastic network design, and then we de develop three uh, algorithms under three different settings. So, and we apply this algorithms into three real world problems and the result shows our algorithms are very fast and they can produce high quality solutions. So thank you and uh, for more detail about other two applications please come to my poster. Thank you.
Thank you.